Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Medieval Engineers. Today, we're going to work on this place. It needs some work. It needs maybe a second floor, maybe just a roof. I'm not really sure, but um, anyway, let's get right to it. Okay, so this is a look at the inside of where we're at now. I do have the stone corners in. I think I'm just going to leave it at stone corners. Kind of reminiscent of the inn during the last run. Um, and I might only do these back corners. Last episode I was kind of mentioning I'm, I may just do the back corners. I think I will stick to that. I like the idea of maybe doing a corner roof right away, but then carrying the walls up and doing a roof at like a higher level and just giving this like kind of an odd profile from outside. Weird corners here, but a higher one in the middle or a higher roof in the middle. I don't know. I just want to give it a, kind of a different look. But what we need to do is get some resources. Now I could run over and take the tunnel. We're just going to hop up here really quick. There we go. I've got that down. Um, so we need, what do we need? We need sticks like crazy, um, but we have a lot of logs. So let's just do that right now. I am typically one to, let me just eat these <laughs> from last time, leftovers. I'm typically one to run around and just grab a bunch of sticks. Um, but I think this time around, we're just going to kind of crank these guys out. Four logs for four stacks. We'll get rid of some of this other stuff that I don't need. Um, go throw it in the chest. I really need to level that out. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we have room in here now that we got rid of that dirt previously. Um, I don't need you. I don't need you. I think we are good otherwise. Um, okay, cool. Let's get down there. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. It looked worse than it was. I didn't take any damage. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's see here. Um, we need things like wood floor. That's this guy. Um, I do want to continue with wood walls. Um, probably windows and walls. And we may carry the stone window and stone wall up as well. Um, we'll just go ahead and start there. Um, I do need a hammer in the rest of this door and everything. Um, Let's see, what can we do? Okay, so we do have the roof stuff. I know I researched like almost everything. I just have a couple left. Um, I couldn't remember if I had these guys in here though. So we can start these. Um, let's get that. Let's let's do that. We're gonna back out here real quick. Um, wait, that, is that the wrong one? Yeah, sorry, I want this guy. That's what I want. And then, get away from me. I want something like that. Um, okay, how we going to do this? There we go. So yeah, this is the kind of corner I was thinking. Um, it's not, there we go. Let's see, it's not letting me do it there. Um, I think that would be cool. Let's just go ahead and place these. Um, let's see. You worked for me a second ago. <laughs> Okay, I think what I was having was a problem with lag. Um, I basically just restarted really quick and I was totally fine. You can see I was trying to like place just other things down and it randomly put this floor here. It was like, I was just kind of clicking like, can I place anything? And it fell. <laughs> These pieces are just laying there. Anyway, they'll go away at some point. Um, so let's see, we got our little makeshift stairs so I can get up here because I still had an issue. Um, so that's the piece I want, right? Yeah. Okay, so, and this is where I want it. Yeah, there we go. So something like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and I may even do the roof. Uh, do I want to do that? Like this? Let me think about that. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bit oddly shaped, isn't it? Um, I'm kind of trying to play this out of my mind and just kind of do it at the same time and, and then I'm just hoping to not have regrets. <laughs> no regrets, man. Um, but I don't want this to just be kind of like a standard roof. Now obviously I could like come from, you know, up here as well and it would be back a bit. That would give it like a different profile from outside if I continued it up. But part of me wants to do like normal wall up here. Um, like, I don't know, it could be, it could be cool. It could work out. Um, so anyway, I'll have to play with that too. It, it would be kind of like a, um, like this, this column here um, would be, you know, wall on this side, wall on this side. So it would be this kind of like taller squared up thing with the corners coming to it. It would be a little bit odd, but it would be kind of like if you walked in 
it would kind of open things up a little bit. I don't know. Am I just talking right out of my backside? I don't know. Um, let's see. I did not mean to jump that far. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. This isn't going to let me, like, do this up there, is it? Something like that. But that's outside, actually, yeah. Need it up here. Okay, got back up on the roof. So, yeah, I like the idea of this window being here. Actually, I like the idea of doing window all around. In fact, I could do like a little tower thing. I don't know. Is that goofy? I think it might be. <laughs> um, and maybe I'll do triangular corners here at the roof um, rather than do, say, like this wall right here. Um, like that. Something like that, just to give you an idea. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not sure about that. That's funny. I fell just that distance right there and took damage, but you saw me jump off the cliff edge and take none <laughs> coming down. Okay. Um. Yeah. I th I think that's I think that's okay. Um. Let's go back here and get this roof again because now we're looking at something like this. It's a little goofy, um, and it's not wanting me to do it because this is frames, but anyway, you, you get the visual there. Maybe I would, like, f do a flat roof on this and a flat one over. Um, yeah, it would definitely be a very different look there. Um, the other thing I could actually do is take one of, like, these guys here and do that there. That actually might be kind of cool. Actually, yeah, I like that a lot. Then I would carry one more into here. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. I just need to hammer these into place and then I can get like a better visual idea of what's going on. Don't jump off, Wayne, because you will die. <laughs> okay, I've got these visually in, kind of hammer started. Um, and I do, I do think I like the look of that. Um, maybe one more, like this roof going again over. And then I think what I might do is run the roof in this, uh, this length from here down to the other end. Um, flat I guess I could do this point thing across the top I mean that's a very standard looking house at that point but I don't know is there anything wrong with that I think this is kind of cool it's it'll be nice and open it doesn't have to have two floors I could even have like stairs back here going up and just have like a little loft area I did talk about a balcony up here but I don't know I've got this one and we're gonna do rails on it I think we'll just keep this really simple Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. There's still um, some weirdness. The roof didn't come all the way down in this portion uh, right in there. I think it's because of the way these are lined up. I'm not too concerned about those kinds of things. Um, I've done the kind of thing where I've run um, timber pieces along there to kind of fill in gaps. So that's the thing I could do. Let me walk you in here. Um, you can see how this looks. I think this is cool. I haven't filled any of the gaps up there um, except for that one. So anyway, I've got a little bit more to do. I had some stairs go up right here with a balcony up here, but it, it really blocked this opening when you walked in. And I just like it like this. So very simple. We're going to keep it just like this. What I need to do now is I want to grab my bed to bring over here and maybe make some furniture uh, to bring in here as well and kind of dress the place up a little bit. Okay, I've just grabbed 20 stone from the mine, and I've actually got the uh, statue there. You can see in the number three slot, I just grabbed that real quick. It does take 20 stone to put up. Obviously, we have a bunch of that. Um, I've got some other things picked out, so we're going to come down here. I think I made like two chairs. Oh, you know what? Ween, come on. <laughs> I made two chairs, but I didn't pick them up. Um, so anyway, we've got some things to do, but I haven't placed a statue down, and I think... Thought it might be kind of cool on that hill um, let's see we can't put timber in here we can put you in here and I guess uh, let's put the torch in there it's fine um, okay there we go so we're gonna run this down so I want to put the statue down because I'm out on the hill I think it could be cool I don't really want to obstruct my view with it or anything um, but I think it could be cool there Let's see, it's really big. Um, it's I kind of want it inside the place, but it's it's just too big to put inside. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is kind of what I was thinking was down here somewhere. Um, actually, I think like here's probably fine. Um, yeah, because if I put it here, it's like kind of in my face. So I was thinking I would put it on one of these points. There's a point here, and then there's like a point over there a bit. 
Um, but I thought this might be the better place for it. And then I just want to face it towards Vortec and Mojo's place. Something like that. Okay, so that's going to be where that is. I think that's going to work pretty well. So just hammer this in here. Go, go, go. Not enough to complete. I thought it was... Didn't I grab... Why are you... Okay, anyway, there we go. I was like, I thought I had enough stone. Cool. So that's kind of overlooking, and it's not really in our way. Let's go see what that looks like up here. Um, yeah, definitely not in our way. That's great. So anyway, yeah, definitely got this going. Let's get some furniture down. Um, let's put lights down first. I did grab two of these guys um, because it is not very well lit inside. Uh, maybe I'll put these in the corner where the stone is for now. Something like that. Okay, I see you have to click these three times to light them. Okay, so there we go. We've got a little bit more light in here. Um, what else do we grab? We have the chairs that I made. Um, I grabbed the wardrobe from over there because I'm kind of experiencing this bug right now where every time I log out and back in, it changes my clothes back to white. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a wardrobe because I was fast traveling back to the beginning just to use the wardrobe there. Like, I really have to make my own if this is going to be a thing. I was actually hoping the update... Um, would resolve that but apparently not so I'm just gonna stick this on this wall here for now we can obviously move this later so there you go there's that um, we have the chairs oh I need to put my bed down that's not hugely important but and I think for now we'll just kind of do the same thing stick it over against the opposing wall there claim it awesome we've got the bed we got the wardrobe statue outside I do have two chairs I thought I would just kind of stick these out here um, Let's see if I can tell. Yeah. Just put, put them like here next to each other maybe. Cool. There you go. So we can uh, just kind of come sit out here, take in the view, uh, die of starvation. <laughs> I need to go get food once again. I'm actually starting to uh, take that damage. But um, there you go. I think the next thing I might do is start working on maybe the railing around here. Um, I'll grab some more timber while I'm over there looking for food. Okay. I ate the last soup. There was only four total, so I've definitely blown through those. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get this started. Now this is going to be odd because I do have the rounded corner. It's got these kind of points here, so I thought I might try and do that. The other possibility is I could go like... A 45 degree angle with it um, but I don't know you know we got the diagonal timbers um, so I'm not really sure of like a good way to handle these turns um, but anyway I can at least handle this uh, front facing one get that started I think that's gonna be um, a good idea so let's go ahead and grab this guy um, and let's see here to there scroll you down as we all know I don't like very tall railings you just don't need them to be that tall um, and I think what we'll do is we'll start from the outside or should I start from the inside maybe the inside because that's what matters to me here so we'll do it like at the edge just inside this cube or block yeah we'll do something like that and I guess that one's probably fine we're just doing these just inside of their respective blocks yeah Okay, cool. So that gets that established. Now what we need to do is um, kind of take a peek here. It goes red, so it must be um, good right there. Yeah. All right, and then nine on these guys. This is going to be pretty straightforward, this part of it anyway. And you could really get away with very short railings. I think I could actually go like one more down, and it will stop you. Um, and maybe even just along the ground. Okay, I'm trying to get this to line up. You can see the 45 degree angle is a bit sharp. Um, we'll have this like corner of the ground sticking out from it. Um, but I think what I need to do is basically move this one more. Actually, you know what? Um, this is easier to leave that there for now. Um, that's what we need. Pick this guy up if I can. There we go. Okay, and try this again. I've actually never messed with the diagonal pieces before. I always thought, ooh, what a headache. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with those. Um, but now I kind of need to. So it looks like um, 
Oh, it's so hard to tell. I'm clipping in. I need to go to the left one. And then back towards me one. That's what I need. Okay. Whew. Let's try it. Do that. Remove this guy. Break that piece back out. Do the whole flipping thing again. Um, yes. Okay, but it's red. So it's not... It's not letting me place it on its side. And I think it's like you have to connect to something like that. But you can see it doesn't want to do that. Um, it does it in the halfway point. So the next step then is to do something like this, I think. Um, and then take this piece. Let's see here. And then rotate you twice. There we go. That's what we have to do there. Okay, let's just go ahead and do it. We're going to see what that looks like. Um, you know, it's not that bad, actually. Um, there is a bit of floor that sticks out over there, um, so it looks a little bit goofy. I actually don't even mind that piece in the middle. Um, but I can't remember. Is there, like, a straight diagonal floor piece? I want to say no. There's this guy. Um, yeah, okay, I guess not. I thought maybe there was a triangular piece that would kind of go from corner to corner. That might actually work. Um, anyway, I think I'll leave it at this. I know it's a little bit goofy, but I don't know. I think it probably works just fine. Now, the fun part is I need to go uh, replicate this on the other side. <laughs> That's always fun. Um, so anyway, yeah, I think I think that works pretty good. Um, basically, how far back are we? We're like, That's one, two, that's, uh, let's see, that's three, four five six six in and it's six in as well okay let's see if we can get this in the first shot it was something like two three four five six this would be one two three four five six that seems too far and then I have to make it shorter by one was a six from there I feel like I'm off and so I'm bringing it back one so we're gonna try this, let's see. Um, okay, rotate it, flip it. Flippity flip, rotate that way. Nope, it needs to be this way. So, yep, we're off. I do need to be a uh, left one. Just left one though, so that was close. Flip, flippity, flubbity, remove this guy. <laughs> the fun of timber use here um, okay so something like that although it's not letting me place that um, oh, why are you failing me so close okay well it's been a few days in game since I worked on the railings and basically I gave up on this corner because while I did get it working on the end down there um, I couldn't get it to go here on this one, so I, I took out my efforts here, I took out the uh, success that I had on this end, and I, I, I'll figure something else out. I did put some rounded timbers in here as well, I kind of set this up a little bit differently. Um, and as you can see, I've got rounded timbers in the windows as well. I just wanted to narrow them and give them a bit of a different look. Um, if I come around here, you could see I stuck one in the windows here, but kind of up from the bottom. Um, I think it's kind of interesting. Let me show you inside some of the details I've done in there. More with timber. A lot of work in the last few days. Um, first of all, check out this fire pit. Now, one thing's for sure. <laughs> there are a lot of flamey sounds in here. Um, so anyway, let us uh, let me show you this guy. So I basically took out the middle floor here. I put four stone walls in there. I then dug it down with a pit and did timbers down on the bottom. And then I set these uh, fire things in here and... Um, I always forget how to say that. Braziers? Something like that? Something like that. Anyway, I never know how to say that, but I've got four of those things down there <laughs> sitting on the timbers. And I did this kind of covering over the middle um, just because it was kind of a little bit of an open gap between them. And I just thought this visually looked kind of cool. Then I built up this thing around it, basically just kind of uh, squared up post and then rounded ones. Um, connecting them. You can actually, you don't even have to jump, you can just kind of walk up these. I thought it gave kind of a cool, nice little fire pit look in here. Now additionally, I took the um, half, these half boards, um, what are those called? I can't remember. Um, it's these guys, right? Wall walks, that's what it was. I did wall walks along here, and there's actually corner pieces as well, so I did those around. And there's also a corner piece that kind of goes around a corner like this, 
So I carried that in here. So this is all kind of covered. I did a rounded beam along the front of them, right? And then I hung some down as well. I did some angled um, diagonal beams here to give it like support, although I'm realizing that looks weird bumping up against the rounded timber, but I had square timbers and then replaced them with the rounded. Anyway, I do like the look. I wasn't sure what I put up there. I was like, maybe I'll put chests up there or something, but what I ended up doing was actually sticking the, um, the wall torches, is that what they're called? But I laid them down. You can actually see these are the parts that typically connect to the wall. It's kind of clipping through the bottom. Um, but it gives it that like extra light, but you don't necessarily see. You can kind of see the flames there. I was thinking I might put another row of timber along top, um, so you couldn't really see the flame itself. But anyway, it sounds very. Um, it sounds like this place is burning down. <laughs> but I do like that there is a lot of light here. So overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Okay, well, that should just about wrap this episode up. I want to thank you guys for stopping in and watching me work on the house. I've had a lot of fun uh, planning out some of the details here. I've got more furniture and everything I want to put in here, but I'll kind of deal with that on my own time. I don't know what we're going to do next time. I've got a couple different ideas. You guys have had a lot of suggestions, so I'm going to kind of look over that, think about what to do next. You can certainly let me know in the comments. I would appreciate that. Otherwise, I hope to catch you here next time.